One of the most difficult situations indoors to find the appropriate plant for is low light. So or in an office with no windows, just fluorescent lights in the ceilings for eight hours a day is fine on these. And probably the highest quality and most attractive of that group of plants are these aglonomias. This is the classic one. This is Silver King. Dark green with a silverish variegation to the leaf. We have things like this pink jade with all that pink tones, not only in the main stem and veins of the leaves, but blotches of pink in the leaf, all the way to silver queen with even more, or this pewter with very silvery pewter greenish to even the more darker, more burgundy tones. So we have a wide range of color spectrum in these aguanomias, also known as Chinese evergreens. And then when we look at other plants that do well indoors, we might look at the ZZ plant, again, another low light plant. And it's a little bit exotic. We have this, which is Sansevieria, also known as snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. It's hard to kill. It has sharp pointed leaves. It grows upright, so it's a narrow plant without much spread. And if we went to the very lowest light plant we put indoors, that would be this one, which is Aspidistra, also known as cast iron plant or barroom plant. This tends to survive all sorts of abuse. But understand, we do have a plant for any light level you have indoors if you intelligently go pick it for the amount of light you have and the place you want to put the plant. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.